everyone's just walking around having a good time i'm buzzing in a few trailers here and there then this guy shows up my dad chased this guy down he wasn't even a part of the group and i'm pretty sure as soon as he hit the campground folks were like flies to a bug zapper he basically was the show When I first got in this thing and stood in the cockpit and I was looking through this glass, can you even imagine seeing the road through this windshield? Oh man, what a view. And one of my favorites this year I think has to be this 1949 Silver Streak Clipper. Uh, this thing was just phenomenal. And if my memory is serving me right, I believe all the uh, work was done by the owners. And this exposed aluminum inside just really made the thing pop. And the way that it was a rustle mod but stayed true to what it represented, just really, really well done. Bravo. hear those engines revving up and the cars start lining up you know that the annual cruise through is about to begin really fun thing to watch anybody who has a vintage ride can participate kind of a neat thing this rally does
you want. It's pretty bright. It's a LED, I think. Old school LED. So is that your ammo box? Is your gas tank? Mm -hmm. They think it's old. That's what gets me. Uh -huh. Well, the old 54 Ranger made it. It was a, it was a close shave. <laughs> the outside of the trailer certainly isn't done, but the inside is getting pretty close. We're just happy it's campable at this point. Sometimes when you're uh, caught up in an event like this, it's easy to miss the little magical moments that happen. And Spring Mill is a really magical place, and the little cardinal birds around this little Scotty camper were just really fun to watch. I'm so glad I got to capture them on film. And as night sets in, fires are lit and the chairs are filled with your friends and family. You can take a deep breath, put your brain on pause and just soak it all up. When the crickets and frogs join you in your campfire songs, you know with all that is in you, this is truly the life we were meant to live. And as morning breaks and I walk the campground, I realize that yet again, I have not managed to make it down through the whole campground. And I make a promise to myself to do better next time. Volkswagen Genius, also known as Larry Cohen, and his bed bug are shown here. I put a link here to his camper build page. I highly recommend you go check it out. This is one of the ones I am totally kicking myself for not being able to get into it. This thing you know is just wicked cool on the inside too.
And as another rally event comes to a close, I make the last cup of piping hot coffee on the old home strand alcohol stove. I can truly say I am blessed to have such like-minded folk who share the same love of old junk and things of earned character. Those who, when a stack of windows falls and punctures your freshly restored 1937 cozy camp, yeah, just take it in stride and install that funnel holder you always knew you needed. You see, it's those kinds of folks that see problems as solution opportunities. Those are the kind of people you need to find to hang with. The ones that fly the American flag proudly and join with others in celebration of all things unique. We'd absolutely love for you to join us at this event the next time. So whether you're traveling in your VW bus or you flew in on the Airstream or you're just a nomad traveling in your ultra van that runs like a greyhound, the links will be down in the description if you'd like to join us. Thanks to Jim and Sarah and their help and the staff at Spring Mill State Park. We couldn't do it without you. Thank you.